this week, I want to give a shout out. No, better yet, a friendly reminder that if you'd like to catch Kevin Hinkle's doodle streams every Friday, they're swapping over to Twitch. And you know how Kevin does it. Nothing but the freshest doodles. This was not a paid advertisement for the Cali Brick Click, just helping spread the word so Kevin has a smooth switch to Twitch. Claire, are you good to introduce today? You want me to do it? Do it? No, I can't. Ross really wants to. Okay, you want to do it? No, All we right. can do it. She was practicing it. All right, Ross in five, four, three. All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Cali Brick Click, but with Emma Source, we're taking over. Uh, get used to it. But we got our usual suspects here. Shy time is my time, always keeping it fun. We got Ninja, you know, the man with, uh, he, he doesn't talk a lot, but he says a lot when he does. And then everybody's nice. favorite plastic architect, call her, call her plastic, but she's anything but fake, Claire. Hi. That was a good wow. <laughs> that was hot. That was hot. I was going to try to do something funny with the cauliflower, but you took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> I wasn't practicing that for two days straight. Don't worry. <laughs> Still did well, how's it going, nothing. everybody? How was our Thanksgiving? Mm. Boy, no. It was good. It was really good. We um, ha- I had family in town from Brazil. Oh, Very cool. exciting. oh, nice. Oh, wow. Wait, is that like also a Brazil holiday, or is it just kind of? No, they just like came. Yeah, cool. that would be weird. I don't know how. <laughs> Canada's the closest one that does it, but there's like a month earlier. Yeah, there's. Um, like a- Mm-hmm. But we went to my aunt's house. It was fun. Uh, Sans was here. This was good. How about you guys? What you do? I just had uh, just had my dad over and kept it pretty small. Yeah, um, pretty nice. Yeah, nice little meal. We got some like ready to go stuff from Costco. Just threw that in the oven. Just <laughs> that was the way to do it. Yeah, this is like so the good. first probably Thanksgiving we ever had with like no drama. Just super chill. I'm, I'm getting used to this whole new paradigm and just keep it all super simple and small. Nice. Yeah, it was like <laughs> habits from like early pandemic times that have like are maintained now. Yeah, right, right. You know? Yeah, exactly. And so now I'm just like, yeah, yeah. I'll see one of you once a year, and then we'll cycle. Through. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. I I wish I could go back to that. My family's like, oh my god, we can see each other. Let's see each other like ten times a week. I'm like, okay. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh man. And then I guess it kind of works because most. None of our like immediate family lives nearby, so we we don't really see them often. Usually Sounds. on holidays or three day weekends or something. That's like that. really convenient. That sounds <laughs> like that was planned. <laughs> <laughs> no, what about you guys? What y'all do? I mean, I, mine was good. We had. Did a you little, get that uh, macaroni and cheese, Ninja? I heard you oh, talking about in the last one. Oh yeah, I got that Man. mac and cheese. Uh, I did mess up. I didn't make enough mashed potatoes. Everyone was. No. Everyone was on me about that, but oh, you know we'll do better sense. next time. So, <laughs> so that's one of those things that I hear that is like, like, so we had I bought some of the, the Whole Foods like pre made one. It was really good, but like the Bob Evans pre made mashed potatoes apparently are excellent. So next year, just like have a couple of those in the freezer. Okay, <laughs> you know, so you can just like whip them out if you just see like things getting low. Nah, I mean, just put them into a bowl and pretend like you made them. You know, that's the way to do it. So that's what I should have done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Trader sorry, Joe's family. has like these little frozen pucks of like minced potatoes or something. And so you, we just like add them into the pot and however many you want. You They're so them. good. Yeah. See, why didn't you guys tell me this last week? Well, you didn't have us last week. True. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Stuffed my face and passed out from the itis. Noise, so noise. Good. From the itis. Did uh, did anybody make it out for Black Friday shopping? Anybody go get the ATAT? Oh, you're nope. ridiculous! Nobody, nobody sane goes to the store on Black Friday. Like, All right, no. I, as we just had a vlog come out this morning of us going to the store on Black <laughs> yes, Friday. I know. I cannot believe you guys did but that. We didn't go like opening time though. Like you went. Yeah, no, we, we went at like ten a.m. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You didn't wait yeah, in line. You, you didn't do the whole. Eight. Yeah, we didn't wait in line. It was very chill though. Like they're. The Lego store was empty at one point while we were in there. I was like, where's the people? Yeah. They still had AT-ATs on the shelves. Like, yeah. it was very cool. Well, what time people did your mall open up, up, though? Sorry? Like, what time did your mall open? Like, what time did the stores open up? No. It four? Six. Six. But uh, so, had to be there by four. Based on my experience when it was pre-COVID in retail, like, 10 to 2 is a lull. 
time mm-hmm. to go in because yeah, I, I just know like it gets really busy the first two hours and kind of slows down a little bit you get like kind of late stragglers and then like 10 to 12 you know 10 to 12 of one you really don't get many people and then it yeah. gets busier after that we, we left the mall probably around one and then we can tell if we walk by the lego store again. and there's a line whereas like we yeah. just walked uh, in when we got there even the employee i was really surprised i still had ata teeth and the employees like no it, we typically will we'll have them but I doubt they'll make them through the day. And then I kind of see what he meant was later there's a huge line of people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, uh, it's sold out online. So yeah. wow. surprise, surprise. Yeah. And it's probably not coming back until March. You think think March? So? Maybe. Well, if if they they seem to be better on their supply line lately. So yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it comes back before that- Christmas. Is that what happened last year with the Moss Eisley? Well, no, because that was when everything was really messed up, right? It took us. Yeah. I mean, that was like the flower bouquet. That was that kind of the situation bouquet. with like that yeah. kind of stuff. Because it came out, I think, January 1st. Mm-hmm. And then you couldn't get it till summer. Maybe. Yeah, we couldn't get it till May. And the roses, too. And now they're just everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, I was just yeah. like on a mission to get 12 roses. And then we had to like fight for Not Birds everywhere. of Paradise. And then nobody got it. And it turns out you can just always buy that one. Which, <laughs> which is my favorite out of all of them. That's my favorite one. It's really one. pretty. Yeah. yeah. I like that one. What's it? It's right over there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was a lot quieter than I thought it would be. Mm. Which was kind of nice. I don't like crowds. <laughs> so, I mean, especially now, like. Both of us get pretty anxious around the crowd. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's a good time to go. At least you know now. If you want to go to the mall on Black Friday, 10 o'clock is a good time to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're both early sure birds. Like yeah. If yeah. You guys, oh, you guys are early birds. So you guys just like. We are always like the. Oh, we no. will get to a breakfast place when they open. Yeah, so we're that's the, worst. the people we're those we people. are. <laughs> the like, worst. Wow. Like, uh, I guess <laughs> in the next vlog you'll see. Like, uh, we went. We went to brunch, and it was like my birthday vlog. Yeah, just, like, and it was going the, the restaurant opened at ten a.m. and we were like ten a.m. I have to wait till ten a.m. to eat. I was like, that's too late. Should we go somewhere else? <laughs> we went. There. It was so. It was worth it. But like. Yeah, we are very much like early birds. That's right. awesome. Kind of nice. um, yes, we are not, but it's okay. Um, I Sometimes I'd like to be, I used to be, I go through phases. I feel like it's like, you know, circuitous or whatever. Um, yeah. But Ross, I don't want to take over your, you know, incredible hosting skills, but I'm going to, I'm going to get us. I'm going to get us into the meat of the podcast. Oh, okay, cool. I, I, yeah. I, I didn't want the responsibility <laughs> at all. No, it's Shout okay. Don't worry. Intro, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was like awesome. But um, yeah, no, welcome everybody. And we've got the Sauruses on, which is amazing. We've had them on separately, but together it's a completely different entity, a power oh, couple, yeah. a team, a team mm-hmm. to say the least. And the um, sources. Yeah. And I think, you know, what I think would, would be great to to chat about is kind of like your channel and how you guys see it and you know the history that it's it, it came from and like you know from from when Ross was solo on it and now to where it's at and you you know Emily since since we've had you on we had you know I think you you had just gotten into land or I think Ross was maybe on you just got into land you were really excited about it you were like hesitant because like there was you know a tone to land that was not super yeah. at the time and then now your channel is more than doubled in size. And then you've also grown your Instagram presence, which has been playful, to say the least. Um, <laughs> and but really fun to watch as well. So yeah, um, I guess let's like, where do you guys want to talk about mostly like multi, you know, working both platforms or how you guys are feeling like, yeah, like, I guess the, Maybe let's go there. Like, how are you feeling now? You're at like what, 20, 23, 20, almost 24,000 subs on yeah. YouTube? Yeah, yeah give us like, an update. Okay. How does it feel now? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I guess it's, I, I think, so we've both been people that like to set goals. And so it's it's been kind of hard setting goals because YouTube is so different. Like one month you'll grow almost nothing. And the next month you might like double in size. Like it's so vers- like versatile and variable. But um. Yeah, I think like our goal starting in January was like, it would be really cool if we were at like 20k by the end of the year, like that's a big number. That's like an accomplishment. But it it felt very, you know, I don't know, like a reach for Mm us. Um, And so we're really happy with where we're at right now. Um, And also we wanted to be at the point where like we could actually like support ourselves with this too. I think that's like, mostly for us, the, the goals we think about are more that of like, how much can we support ourselves? 
doing like this. is this paying for itself it at this itself? point yeah the the following comes is like this you know it's yeah. part of that it encapsulates it but really the, the main goal is to keep going <laughs> right yeah. and hopefully be able to help support yeah. the channel going forward and um i mean really like through time it's been so so different and i'm sure like other people who have youtube channels can relate to it where like before we were monetized everything was about watch hours mm -hmm. everything it's like how many hours did we get today and then as soon as we were monetized um and we've looked at it twice i don't even care anymore <laughs> you know it's just like your your view on like what matters with your analytics totally changes and now it's really like okay like this month is this like are we making like what i would at a job or you know should i be doing something different making a different type of content like what can i do to help us like literally just keep doing this um and of course all of it kind of ties like growth overall kind of leads you there anyways um you know more subscribers more people watching and like it just goes up from there but I don't know. I guess like we both feel really good with where we're at. Um, and I'm just excited for next year too. Like I said, it's really hard setting goals because things are just so variable, but um, as long as it goes up, <laughs> then we're happy with it. Hey, so, goes up. So now in comparison to last time where you, where you said you were really focused on the watch time and all that kind of stuff, you're, you're more fixated on other types of analytics, like, you know, like your clicks, your thumbnails, your retention rates, like how has that changed what, how your content has now become? So I think that actually, that leads us kind of into a, an interesting thing. Uh, we kind of wanted to talk about anyways, about like clickability and, uh, you know, Emily, Emily kind of made up this rule. What's it? The, oh yeah. My like 40, 30, 20, 10, where like, you know, when you're, when, you, when you're just scrolling through YouTube, you're on your homepage, like what stands out to you, to you the most is a thumbnail, you know, like that's what brings you in, like that's what you look at. And so like this thing, I'm like, I'm not an expert in growing on YouTube, but like I just have this like mental thing of like what's important. So like 40% is the thumbnail. Like if your thumbnail's bad, people probably won't click on it. But then 30% is the title. So like 70% in total is just like your video marketing, at least like for me, that's kind of how I feel about it. Cause you know, you can have an amazing video, but you know, if, if the thumbnail is boring or if it's just, you know, not clickable, the title's not interesting, like no one's going to click on it. And so they, yeah. they'll never know if it's a good video or not. Um, and then like, what is it? 40, 30, 20% is like the first minute of your video. It's like, you know, after the first minute, people usually decide like, am I going to stay here mm -hmm. or am I going to go somewhere else? And then the rest of it's just like, finish off the video like okay good you got them there they watched a minute the most work goes into that part and then that's usually the, the least important and that's why like at the beginning of like a lot of my videos like my vlogs i'll put like 10 15 seconds of just like hey here's some really funny weird things that happened throughout the video here's things you might be interested in some now you jokes. have to watch to see it all right. um, and the bonus content at the end the yeah. yeah now we gotta do that yeah right <laughs> yeah. Well, there, there actually have been times where, like, a lot of times, you know, I'll just be singing, making up songs in the car, and Emily will we'll film it. Usually, I don't know if she's filming it. <laughs> but uh, we'll have, you know, people, another part of YouTube you want to do is and get comment engagement. So, like, especially when a video is fresh, you want to be there. You want to be commenting with other people. And um, also, it, like, it goes a long way, too. It just, like knowing that you put out your video, but the person will also respond to you. Like they actually mm -hmm. care about, you know, if someone has yeah. something to say about my video, like, Hey, I loved right. it at two minutes, 40 seconds. Like that was really funny. It's like, okay, thanks. Like, I'm glad you enjoyed that. You know, but just interacting with them. Like my favorite one is uh, the other nice thing to do, you know, like leave a pin comment saying like, Hey, what was your favorite, you know, whatever. And like, one time she did like, what was your favorite? Like Ross joke. Cause apparently I was, she thinks I'm funny. <laughs> and uh, at the end, I was singing a song about taking the dog to the dog park. And I was like taking, <laughs> going to the dog park, bark, bark. And then like Emily asked, well, hey, what's your favorite joke in this vlog? And I couldn't believe how many people waited to the end of this like 10 minute vlog and heard me say bark, bark. And they all wrote bark, bark. And I was like, what? <laughs> it was like the last two seconds. It was the last two seconds of the vlog. It blew my mind. <laughs> and like, you know, like as, as like a video creator, like you guys are all too, like if someone's watching at the very end of your video, that's very cool. Like, of course oh, yeah. you want everyone to watch every second and love it, but like, that's not the reality. So when people make it to the end, you're like, wow, wow thank so you. you that's so nice. <laughs> yeah. It's very appreciated. Yeah. But yeah, so that's, that's kind of like, you know, to, to tie it all back to what Shai asked, like, yeah, you know, those are the kinds of things we look at now is, is 
we don't really look at numbers per se. It's just we really want to encourage engagement and not just from like a corporate, you know, we're not just trying to be robots about it. Like <laughs> we want to foster that too, right? The, I mean, it we, is a community. Yeah, we that yeah, that's the whole point. Is, really you know, is. We have a community. I'll even get on and comment on other people's things on my from my channel and respond yeah. to people's questions too to try to, yeah. to help out with that like, load. Yeah, exactly. And so it's so it's pretty it's a pretty interesting time. <laughs> but then I mean, responding you know, to the comments in general is, is a daunting task. It can be a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a lot. And Especially like trying to come up with something thoughtful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like sometimes I'll, like I'll get a bunch where I don't know I'll make something and they're like good video great video that was fun and I'm like Thanks. thank you times ten cool. like yeah. how do I here's a here's a heart it's like okay kind of like make, you know you don't want it to be copy and paste or anything. like a smiley face or something yeah, yeah just add a smiley <laughs> do a ha ha if you guys uh, if every video Emily puts out now you'll see I'll I'll be one of the first to comment and I'm always just com I write a comment that says comment for engagement. And then she'll like respond. Hello. <laughs> <LOL>. Thanks. <laughs> no, but you also bring up another thing is where you try to say something that's meaningful, especially if someone literally took the time to write something that's more than a paragraph. You know what I mean? Oh, where yeah. that's not just kind of BS, it's actual thought and heart that was written from right. somebody's, you know, emotion to ones. your in your content. And then you're like looking at it and you're like, how do I respond back? Uh properly but not only that you're that person's only responding once like you have to respond exponentially yeah. across like different videos especially if you know people are commenting other videos from the past it's like you, you go back and do you respond to this you know it's it's a uh, it could take up a lot of time a lot yeah, it yeah. It, it's it's a lot um you know i'm thinking about some of the the we, we came in with some examples that we've had in, in recent videos uh, to kind of like bring up. So like one of our favorite ones is um, there is a video where Emily went to Walmart and uh, oh, yeah. she, she kind of got like asked these weird questions from the person working the door. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and, and the way we marketed the video and it probably shouldn't have been, you know, looking back at it. It was a little clicky. Yeah, it was a little clicky. <laughs> And like Emily had marketed it like something like, oh, I was harassed for buying Lego. And, you know, we looked and it was like maybe harassment wasn't the best term. It was probably more like I was questioned maybe, but who's mm -hmm. clicking on a video that says I was questioned. Um, and yeah. so, but then what like really was interesting was the comments coming in of how many people were upset that Emily didn't get harassed enough, according to Because like the person oh, at the door okay. was like yeah, very was. judgy. Like they... Wow. Yeah, it they, was like a weird thing, but yeah, all of them were like, "You weren't harassed." Like, yeah, it pretty much trans. That's not harassment. You're just being a victim, and and so it really translates to, well, apparently Emily wasn't harassed enough for 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 huh. what this title was. You and, can't use that word. <laughs> she was. Bugged. Did anybody bring up clickbait at all, or they were? Just yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people. There's there's even some people that are big in the community that have never commented on on our videos that have commented, and I, I was pretty surprised. Yeah, I was like, like oh, okay, <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, I was but... like, oh, well, <laughs> sorry, this is our first interactions, but <laughs> uh, and and so uh, yeah, oh. and, but then what's the 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 icing on the cake was what wasn't shown is that Emily literally was harassed at that Walmart. But I mean, I just, it's just hard because, like, you know, like, I'm usually alone and just, like, you know, I'll, I'll usually have my phone if I'm vlogging and I'm, like, not really super aware. But I've stopped doing that because, like, sometimes people are kind of creepy. And I'm not going to, like, talk about yep. that in the vlog. But it's, like, I mean, I was kind of harassed there. But, like, that's not what I want to talk about on YouTube, <laughs> you know? Like, it's, it, it's like, not... You know, we, we try to be like very positive, kind of like fun, kind of quirky kind of vlogs. And then mm -hmm. just, I don't know, talking about that stuff's not part of it, even though it's like part of my day. It's not part of like what I want to mm -hmm. show. Yeah, yeah just don't give it energy. Yeah, not the space you want to create. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I think weird. I, I like, I think choosing to use the word like harassment, it's like if you're going to make a clickable or very clicky title like that, if you're going to do that and fair, you guys are saying like, you know, in retrospect, you probably shouldn't have done it. But like, if you're going to, you have to like also be okay with the ramifications of that. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. It's like, it's a, it's a choice that you're making right for the benefit of the channel and the growth of the channel. 
It did really well. (laughs) Yeah. And it's going to come with those kinds of comments. And then it's also a word that's like, you know, people use it to describe like really traumatic things that have happened to them, obviously. Right. And so um, it's no one's place to like say anything, but at the same time, like, it's awful. Like, I don't want to say like you were asking for it, but it's like, it's a risk that you take while making clickbait. Right. Yeah. right. And that's Definitely. really the hard thing is, is assessing that risk ahead of time. Right. At the time we're thinking, we're like, Oh, we got to put this video out in five minutes. Usually that's when click, we're like figuring click, out what, a title. What's a good title. It's right. a good title. You know, right. there's no time. We don't plus, think like that. Plus I'm sure you were just like thinking of it as like a joke. Like, yeah. Oh, it, was exactly. yeah. Uh, so it was, it was a, a, like a harmless, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, We've all something in our heads. We thought, oh, this is something most a falls are, are can relate to, right? You know, like, oh, so, you're an adult buying yeah, Lego, like, you weirdo. You, you know, yeah, yeah. And, you know. So that that was actually the the angle we thought we were coming right. from with it, and I think a lot of people got that too, right? Mm-hmm. But you know, yeah. obviously, some didn't, which is on us. It's, I think yeah. a, another good example I wanted to talk about too is so when we were buying the UCS gunship, <laughs> there's so much drama with our Lego store in terms of like if it was even going to be there. And then at the time the mall was closed, so you can only do car pickup or you weren't allowed to come into the actual store, but you could go in the mall. So we ended up buying it on shop at home at midnight. But then later that day we heard, oh wait, hey, you can't get in there. And so um so we long story short, we ended up with two gunships. Right. And so then uh, you know, I worked it out with Lego and they're like, Yeah, just send us back the one once you get it in the mail. And so then we had a video called like uh, returning UCS gunship, right? And it was a vlog. Yeah. And I I, yeah. the the how many comments there were saying like, this could have been a two minute video. This is clickbait. And it was like, put it 100%. I mean, it's happened. one of those things where it's like, it's very clicky, like <laughs> what? But then it's like, I literally like, I went to UPS. I was like, here, here you go. Here's the gunship. <laughs> I returned it. <laughs> so it's Can't like- please everybody. I, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's hard because it's can't. like, it's it's youtube and you know i don't want to be one of those like you know those big youtubers where it's like little stars at the end like not clickbait like emotional like no i that's that is so annoying (laughs) but like at the same time it is it's like okay how do you market your video to where like someone's going to click on it how are you you know accurate in what happened but without just being like probably bought lego you know like <laughs> maybe i bought lego on this vlog maybe <laughs> not, not. <laughs> went to target again yeah, yeah. went to target yeah. went to bricks maybe i think i've Walmart. seen a clear video like that <laughs> <laughs> all of ours yeah but, and then the third example i wanted to talk about was the title that never actually made it oh that was the oh. best i was so upset i was uh, so close to making this the title so if you recall in days of old before we knew about the question mark block back then the rumor was that it was going to be peach's castle and so you know we, we ended up, sorry <laughs> it still was technically <laughs> yeah well it's yeah. still technically right but uh so i mean we did end up getting it sent through us through lance thank you lance if you're listening um so we did get it you know before other people but or, or like before reveal so we knew a little bit before but i guess this was before then and uh we were at Walmart and for some reason somebody had like misplaced a Mario toy. It wasn't Lego. It was like a gingerbread house, peaches castle. Yeah. But it was in the Lego aisle. And so I like jokingly came up. I was like, Oh, good idea for a title. We found peaches castle on the Lego aisle. It took everything in me to not make that. <laughs> I, I had to like tell her, I was like, you are not making that title. You are that, not doing that. I don't know. That sounds like a good one. And, I mean, it's I'm not sure it would have done great, but it would have been wonderful. I, I, I was like, we are not taking that. <laughs> we're Everyone gets we're really clicky. Mad. We're not clickbait. <laughs> I mean, technically, you did find it, it in the Wait, and It's not lying. It's not, you're not lying. lying. No, you're the not. ramifications from it, I don't think, were worth it. Like, yeah, people would have been mad about that. <laughs> and, and that was, I think, right after that gunship one, too. So that's why we were kind of like, let's, let's do it or whatever. Maybe turn it yeah, down. Yeah. Like, we, we're not trying to like trick people into clicking on things, but like, we kind of <laughs> want you to click on them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean yeah, it's hard like, I'll see like huge vlog channels. Like, I love Emma, Emma Chamberlain's mm-hmm. vlogs, and it's just like very aesthetic and just quirky and weird. But like, her, her title will just be like, all lowercase beach. Yeah. I'm like, oh I wish people would click on mine if I did that, you know, like, but shopping. 
shopping, shopping. right? <laughs> right? Like, you know, like, like nothing. <laughs> ten, 10 out of 10, right? Right there. Uh, but it's, no essentially, title. you can't really please everybody, as Ninja said. Like, you're going to. You're gonna get to a point with you're gonna find a hater somewhere. Oh yeah, you know what I mean, they're out there. I mean, and, yep. you know, I mean, haters don't really bother us, but it's just yeah, like it's actually kind of fun because like it's nice being able to do this with somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, like we're both very much in it. Like he also has logins to MSORs. Like he'll check comments and as well. And like whenever I get weird comments, either like on Instagram, which somehow more of them are on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, well, no surprise. And then, really. yeah. <laughs> and then, like, YouTube, there'll be weird comments. And I'm like, hey, Ross, look at this. This is weird. <laughs> just chuckle at them. <laughs> and we're just like, <laughs> weird. Okay. <laughs> that was strange. Nice. So it's, like, nice being able to at least, like, share that. With yeah, you're not by yourself. yourself. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. you're not just, just, like, moping, like, oh, no, like, why did I think I'm weird yeah. or whatever? It's like, hey, Ross, look and, at this. And that's, like, a big thing. And, you know, it's been coming out for a while, like, it feeds into the content creator burnout that, you know, a lot of people have been talking about lately. And then also just, um, you know, having each other just makes it like so much easier for us to both absorb it. Like every now and then we'll get a comment that triggers both of us, but it doesn't happen <laughs> often. Yeah. So usually it's funny. The, uh, the Instagram ones are my favorite. Cause I'm like, man, you guys are just <laughs> swinging a miss. Like <laughs> there's a lot of weird stuff on there. Why, why do you think that is? Like it's just, so like on YouTube, you know, like the people I'm reaching isn't crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, whereas you're not being promoted to everybody. Yeah. Know? Whereas like Instagram, it's like to anybody, you know, like the reels, yeah. it'll see if they like the it, like the reels. Yeah. And then if they don't, then they won't show it again, but like, they'll try, you know, they'll show it to everyone at some point. And, you know, with that, there's probably like kids that are, you know, awkward and don't <laughs> understand social media etiquette. Um, <laughs> But like sometimes also the ammunition. Yeah, I mean also or, just yeah. you know yeah. hiding behind a name. Yeah, in a profile. I'm picture. just I'm like I wish you. Guys no, but see, but also in YouTube, like you show a whole video of yourself going to go shopping, so you're able to tell a story. You're mm. able to gain an audience and a loyalty, and personal. someone who's actually invested to watching you. And yeah. Instagram's not built that way, especially Reels, no. where you're it's instant and it's gone. So like you're not really invested into what you're watching. So you can be and it's scrolling like you're. Click, watch, Mindless, talk crap, yeah. move on, talk crap, move on, talk yeah. crap, move on. Like it's it's not – people aren't as invested as uh, – to the people – like I mean I, I'm – I recently just started messing with reels, like just myself just because it was fun. Um, yeah. And the growth on that is is super easy. It's – I don't know why. Yeah, it's really hard to promote it. It's killing yeah. my grid. I am not proud of my grid anymore. <laughs> but like – I was at a lull for a while, not really go growing at all until I started posting reels. And then I'm like, oh, crap. I just finally passed the next thousand. I haven't, I haven't done that in a while. But then like the people that are like commenting dumb things is like exponentially higher than it was before. So it's yeah. like, I don't know. Um, it, it's definitely different uh, type of people you're reaching, both good or bad, depending on how you want to look at it. But it, it is bringing, bringing people over, which is also pretty interesting. Yeah. So it's like, right. it's like good and bad because you could potentially get people that don't know about this community or whatever. So they can oh, actually yeah. learn about it. Yeah. But you're going to get a lot of riffraff and stuff also. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely. a lot of comments I've gotten are like, you know, I'll, I'll be like holding a Wally in a reel or like a Porg and people are like, wait, is that a Lego set? Like, where can <laughs> yeah. I get that? Or like, I'll get comments like, I just bought this because of you. I didn't even know this existed. And I'm like, dang. I mean, that's why the roses were so popular last year was TikTok. You know, it was like, it wasn't even like Lego fans buying the roses. It was someone on TikTok, a few people on TikTok did some videos and everybody went about the roses, you know? Oh, I didn't know that. I Yeah, I think I've heard, I think you might have said that. That's how I knew about that, just because we don't use TikTok. So that might yeah. be it. But don't. <laughs> don't go there. You'll get lost and won't come out. I had it three hours once and by. I couldn't get off of it. And I, I don't use it. It's like very. I mean, scary. it's. It's kind of weird because, like, with YouTube Shorts and Reels, like, you don't even need TikTok anymore because you're going to see the videos yeah. either way. That's, so, right. <laughs> That's what they're yeah. doing. Yeah, and so they uh, they or what do we call it? they Zuckerberg TikTok, where yeah. they just kind of add whatever feature from some other company and just put it as a bonus feature in whatever Instagram, Facebook they have. <laughs> yeah, so they just got zucked. Um, <laughs> <laughs> zucked. But um, yeah, because I mean, I remember when Reels first hit, it was really bad. Like there was no good content on Reels. 
I mean, even still, <laughs> I'll be scrolling through and I get so bored so fast because it's like yeah. the same five or ten songs or like copying videos, stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, trendy, uh, like the trend, new <laughs> trending. Yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever, everyone wants to take. Everyone wants to be viral or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you gotta copy this. Yeah. And then, uh, which I guess, I mean, that's how Reels is designed is yeah. to, to try to be viral. Like, I think know. it also like commoditizes people. And so in the same way that like online dating or whatever, all these like apps where it's like you only get a glimpse of a person in their life and this like very curated way of them showing you that. So it's like easy to, to, and when I say commoditize, I mean like literally turn the person into a thing so that any kind of empathy is eliminated. Right. So that's why it's so easy to leave like nasty comments mm-hmm. versus like a video where there's yes. like more depth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so yeah, I mean, it's pretty common. It's like, it's not the first like societal or anthropological, you know, experiment that we've done. Um, it's just, big words. You know, what? I, I just, I just comment side, big words. That's all. No, I just think that like, what's really interesting is that like social media, you know, we're trying to kind of like as content creators, we're trying to kind of like grab on and, and reap the benefits of it. Right and and enjoy it for what it is but it's like it's a much bigger thing and it's a much bigger thing than 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 we ever anticipated or can can even comprehend and i don't mean that from like an analytics or like how do you grow or whatever i mean that from like a social impact and a like generational impact that it might have Mm -hmm. so i just think it's really interesting it's like what what is this going to result in you know over the long meta that's what's going to happen zuckerberg's already doing it what is meta. Meta? meta? What about meta? Uh, virtual reality, pretty much like <laughs> putting your life into ready player one. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I'm excited for that episode though. like that. I mean, more about like social dynamics, instincts, uh, you know, the chem- brain chemistry, things like that. Like what we need, you know, to have <clears throat> that kind of interaction and like what our expectations are of other people and like. You know, if you're not going and get, if you're getting all your surroundings and stuff from like reels and from YouTube and from whatever it is, your social media, if that's what you're getting, then like, what do you need to get from like your other communities? And it's like, people are always like, oh, well, you still need like friends and stuff like that. But that's not true. Like a lot of people have hundred percent of their lives online and they seem to be functional. I mean, Mm -hmm. who knows? I mean, who? Yeah. Those are all kind of like outdated notions. Even as a kid, my mom used to be weirded out because I was always playing Halo 3 with my friends online. Hey. And she's always been like, "Why don't you go out and play?" And I'm like, "I, I am. Right. I'm socializing right <laughs> I'm right now. here, talking to my buddies." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And you're like, but those norms and those rules of that environment is not that they're not the same mm-hmm. as other right. social de- like right. you know, environments, which is I think that's where like the the issues arise. And then like anyway, and yeah, no, no. The- it's just a very simple accident. example. You step on my shoes. If you don't apologize, you might get hurt. Like you can't do that over a screen where someone <laughs> clearly talks crap to you and you don't do anything. They can't do anything about it, but they block you. Block or whatever. you. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Like it's the ramifications like, yeah. of negativity is very, very minimal. Yeah, right. it's like Definitely. there's like a diluted sense of reality. You know what I mean? Um, exactly. Yeah, not an augmented one. Mm-hmm. It's just different. It's just diluted. Yeah. Plus the fact that everyone's just throwing their opinion out. And you're like, okay, thanks for your opinion, but it's not a fact. <laughs> <laughs> My opinion's fact. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> yeah. Fight me. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys getting a lot of haters nowadays? Now that your audience has grown exponentially? I think it's pretty much, I, I mean, we. I, I would say we're probably getting more, but I'd say it's pretty much the same percentage. It's just growing more. One thing I've noticed is, you know, we kind of took a break from videos just because of the, the holidays. And uh, when you look at your comments, well, the comments you are getting are usually more negative because it's after, you know, it's been four or five days since our last video. Usually the day of a video, you get a lot of really fun engagement. It's with like your, people that yeah, usually people watch. you're used to talking to and you're all excited about. And then afterwards, you get people who like found a video from six months ago and they're like, "This you is were, outdated." Or you pronounced this wrong. wrong. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know during I think the biggest I don't know like controversial video that we did maybe 
was like the data science one where oh. we were like looking at the different themes and like talking about their co- the prices. This one's a trigger. Point and for like us. you know, <laughs> this wasn't like my dissertation. This was like what we did in four hours on a Saturday. Yeah, like, I just, I like, we're not hey, publishing this. Let's it really so uh, just to to recap what it was is. We did. We thought it'd be interesting to just do a really quick data analysis with the easy data you can grab on. Hey, do different themes cost more? And mm-hmm. like, no thought into it really. It took us about four hours to make the whole video from starting the analysis, mm-hmm. and you know, and it obviously isn't the best analysis, right? We took, we did it just by piece count because it's not like weight is available or number of new like a lot of the data you would probably want to assess that with would be. It's just not easy to get, right? But I can I can write a script that pulls the number of pieces off the internet in five seconds. And so, you know, it was a really simple one. And then, you know, we made some cool graphics, posted it, tons of hate on it. Everyone was like, counting by piece is wrong. You're wrong. So many people were like, this, here's like, why this is bad. And I'm like, <laughs> I mean, even like what got to me the most, I think was like even other like Lego YouTubers commented and they were like, well, this is a very like not really well thought out analysis. When you feel like doing a real analysis, let's collab. <laughs> Dang. I was like, who said that? I'm sorry. I, I want to put a note in that. I, I want to put a note in that. You you just said, or you highlighted Lego YouTubers. So do you take more to heart with what we say? Not just us. In oh, general, yeah. I'm talking about like Lego YouTubers in general, as in in the community, because it's oh, obviously yeah. different from like our viewers who have no face or choose not to, but then like someone like that we see all the time making content puts that effort in. Says yeah. Something I mean, cause there's more like, I, I have a lot of respect for like other people who do what we do. And like, I feel like before we started doing YouTube, I was like, Oh, what? You're like just making a video. I don't really get it. But then once you actually do it and you're like spending time and you're filming and you have to refilm cause the audio doesn't work or like, you know, there's just so much that goes into it. And, you know, just knowing that other people like in the Lego YouTube world who I know who make content and then they're like, that wasn't good. So yeah, I, I, you should have huh. been this, you should have been this, you should have been this, but jokes on everybody because, uh, <laughs> she ended up getting like a paragraph and a half written about her in the New York Times about, so that, like, like, <laughs> about that same video. So, nice. so like, you yeah. didn't do it to get to be published. You were published. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So the it's irony true. in all of it is we ended up getting published on, our, New York on Times. a four hour analysis. We so did. yeah. I mean that kind of that that made it feel better, you know. But it's I mean it's it's just comments from people you know or like even people who follow the channel for a while where they're where, you know, at some point they'll say, Hey, I didn't like this or like, you know, something negative from somebody that you you might not know them, but their name is familiar. Like they've been around for a while. They might be another like Lego YouTuber or something mm-hmm. like you take those more to heart. Cause it's not just some troll or like some guy that just found your channel one day, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and so dealing with that was a little bit more annoying, I think. And it's also <laughs> kind of like also something that they're also passionate about and cared for and actually put effort in. So it's not like some random video. Like you guys really put thought. You into actually this put effort in. I like that you said that. That was good. That was good. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I mean I'll, yeah, sorry. But like, like using what you guys do. You thought a little bit outside the box. Yeah. Like it yeah. was different. And it like, different. whenever we try something different, it's, it's totally a gamble. Um, cause like, I, I feel like I know how to make thumbnails for certain types of videos, but then we try something different, like a data analysis. It's like, I don't know how to market this. Let's Here's see if this works. Some equations. <laughs> um, <laughs> some equations. <laughs> <laughs> math, math. So math. would you have rather preferred more agreeable and like, positive comments than that new york published response i would have rather have the new york times yeah i think we're happy with how it turned that was out. really cool <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i can't i can't be upset about that but that was cool it was just it, yeah i guess i didn't think about it until you just mentioned it shy but i think you're right i think it's we actually did take that those more personal than most because it was people we knew they're more they're- people. Okay. Yeah, they're your peers and stuff. Right? Yeah, so maybe yeah. that's where it ended up being. Um, and, and I was like, yeah, I mean, if I disagree with someone, I'll comment a, more. And there was a lot of good, like, well thought out. Yeah, discussions. a lot of them were nice. Yeah, too. and it was yeah. cool. It was like, yeah, like I, I understand. Like, you know, my favorite ones were always, like, I understand you can't. You're just using parts per piece. Probably not the best one. I'm like, yeah, yeah. But we said that in the video too. Like we mm-hmm. at the beginning of the video, we like <laughs> clarified. Hey, this isn't a PhD thesis state or dissertation. <laughs> this is 
what we did on a Saturday night or Sunday night or something. Well, yeah, we like, weren't working because yeah. like that was when I still had my job too. Oh yeah. So it's like <laughs> this was like a little this, evening project. This is what you did on a Saturday night. <laughs> yeah. We have so it's much perfect. fun here. We're just coding <laughs> up weird stuff. <laughs> so yeah. So that's anyways. Thanks for letting us vent about our our. Oh, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, mean, like I feel like overall, <laughs> like the whole haters thing, like there, there's really not that many, yeah. you know, like I, I feel like we really do create a very positive environment that doesn't really allow for them to have a voice here. Mm-hmm. I mean, even during streams, like sometimes there's weirdos, but not too often. You oh, know, there's uh, I think we should talk about our favorite one when you participated in the, the 24 hour stream. Um, oh man. That was, that sucked. I don't know if uh, you guys knew about that one. I was really I upset watching it when you guys that. were on. I was really Sorry. Like I didn't see it. So can you? Yeah, I was. I, I was. Yeah, I was doing. I was doing something People outdoorsy. So like, I wasn't yeah. around for that. Can you fill me just, in with what happened? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I mean, she was doing. Uh, she was using Kahoot, um, which is like you know a free way to do trivia. So everybody in the oh, live okay. stream, she, she and I feel really bad because Emily literally stayed up till hours. like one a.m. the night before <laughs> writing trivia questions for this thing. I was like, I want to be part of this. Like, I want yeah. it to be fun. Oh, this, horrible, isn't, this isn't like the Beyond the Brick one. This is like no, no, no. no. That, yeah. That was oh, okay, I was thinking about the Beyond the Brick one. I was like, sorry, there might. Oh no, no, this was. Uh, okay. I can't remember. I know like Doc Sampson was involved, but I can't it was remember. like the twenty-four hour stream. Any... But like Lego YouTubers were like everyone. Oh, the hours community bought. live stream. Yeah, the seventy-two yeah. Yeah, the twenty-two hour community live stream. And uh, well, 72 plus, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah 72 plus. <laughs> and, My bad. and uh, it was long, <laughs> but unfortunately, yeah, so like Emily worked really, really hard on all this stuff. I even came in and like you know, stayed up with her and tried to help write questions and you know, fact check everything. And mm-hmm. sure enough, people hacked it and put it like really rude, inappropriate usernames. And it just and kept going. I, just, like, I was like, yeah. Was like, and horrible. every time Emily tried to do something, and I was like at work under the gun, but I was like trying to watch it and I was like trying to research like how to stop this and couldn't figure it. Like, there was apparently there was nothing to it. And so, you know, eventually Emily just kind of was like, well, but, we're just going to build a set. And I was like, what <laughs> yeah, set you, do you want to see built? <laughs> you did <laughs> handle she it. She handled it really well. Yeah, you handled it. I'm really proud really of well. how she handled it. But yeah. it was like, really? Yeah, yeah that was. <laughs> That was horrible. Yeah, that's that, no, that's pretty yeah. rough. No, no, that's pretty rough. Like you put your heart. That, that's anything on YouTube, though. Like you put your heart into it, and then it can get destroyed so easily. Like yeah. by, by, by one person, who really sure. don't care. Like by people who really don't care about yeah, you. Yeah, like this guy's like, probably like, not even a Lego YouTuber. Like yeah, yeah like just some lo- Yeah, like yeah. Where, whereas, like it ruins it for like literally everybody who really do care about your content, who you guys are, and are there for whatever you mm-hmm. decide to present to them. So yeah, that that goes back into like the uh, you know the dynamic of just being like just being a decent person to somebody. Jesus, I don't know why I'm getting to do that. Like, why do you have to say this? <laughs> like, it's not even People that hard. <laughs> I, think, like, I, think, I think most. I don't know. I obviously wasn't there, but I think a lot of times these are kids. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah, that are like probably neglected um, to some degree <laughs> and don't have too too much to do with their time. It's not. Yeah, yeah, that's I mean, pretty clear. <laughs> they don't. Yeah, you tell from the names. I was just like, "What the heck?" I'm like, "Wow!" Yeah. Yeah. I'm just yeah. like, "Really, man?" <laughs> Let's just say I haven't done trivia since then. So I'm like, I don't know Damn. if that's a good idea. It's but... really, it's really sad if you think about it. Like, like think about how when you were like, you know, in your early teens or you know, late, you know, this is like a nine, ten year old or something. What you were doing with your time versus that. <laughs> Versus, right, right. Why aren't they making stop motion animations with their clone right. troopers? <laughs> Do better, trolls. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, because it's it wasn't totally negative. It, it, it mm-hmm. ended up ending on a really positive thing. Yeah, I mean, everyone was so supportive, yeah, and they were just like, like "It's okay." And like, it was really worry. sweet, like the the support that Emily mm-hmm. was getting throughout the whole thing. That's Everybody true. was. Really I felt sweet. bad because there were like yeah. two hundred people there, like ready for trivia. <laughs> But, yeah, that was one of the biggest live streams we had too. <laughs> I was so excited! Like, so many people are here. I gotta get this right. Like, I hope these questions are correct. You know. Hey, but, but you yeah. you did like you said you cleaned it up and you did save it towards the end. Like, it sucks that that happened, but 
Yeah. It was still a good. Know, stream. Someone even actually, I think it was Doc made a cool commentary on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, Doc Samson's like. <laughs> oh, the highlights. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how did he get the? <laughs> we took it down. How did he get the video? <laughs> hey. Oh, he's recording as it's he's going. He's a real ninja. Yeah, he knows <laughs> how to handle all this. <laughs> there you, go. you can't take it down and he not follow it. So. <laughs> <laughs> but even even Doc always. had a lot of nice things to say about Emily too, which is really sweet. Yes. Just like, so that that was. The kind of, I mean, that that was the nice side of it was that mm-hmm. the, the community was super supportive. And it, it felt really nice knowing that you know her community or our community is really supportive. Ninety nine percent of them, I'll take it. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's great. And it's like there was that one time, like I'm not usually able to like mod on a lot of streams because I'm just like usually really busy. But I was like watching you guys. I was on my phone. I think I was like about to work out or something, and for some reason you had you know like a barrage of like trolls like coming in or like oh yeah that was pretty recent with the eighty. yeah it was recent and (laughs) but the thing is like there weren't any there was really no other mods there it was (laughs) late at night i think like a lot of our european we don't often do the late night streams that's right yeah Yeah. which is fine it's totally fine and i like but i and you're like Hey Claire, I was like, "What?" Because I like wasn't looking, and I like grabbed my phone, and you know how like the phone is like a little bit. Oh, on. okay, I remember this. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We were talking about this like on another episode. <laughs> yeah, and I was just, like, I could not keep up, and I had to like. I remember like texting like my trainer, being like, "I'm gonna be late." Like, no. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I can't leave just yet. I mean, we're like, you, and then job. you got it under control, and I was like, "Okay, bye." Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, like, thank, thank goodness Claire's here. But it was like a yes, bot. It was like over and yeah, because every time we we, we yeah. hit them, it, it a new bot came. And yeah, it was like an anti-Semitic bot. Yeah, it was great. I think I've seen this bot around the community. <laughs> I'm sure. I feel like I've I've seen them before too. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like we said I'm before, there say. is a crew of Lego YouTuber or people who are like just mm-hmm. haters. Just troll, and what they yeah. do is they troll oh, okay. everybody. Yeah, yeah, they so make like content they can... and shorts and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it's it's weird. Yeah. It's weird when I see him in hive stream because I'm like, should I let him be? Just see how see how this goes, I guess. <laughs> well, hive stream anything could happen. So. That's why I'm like, I don't know how to handle this right I now. Usually, yeah, I just let it go. Like, especially <laughs> when I'm on Emily's channel, like it only takes one one dumb thing to say, and I'm kicking you. You're Game out. over. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and I've done it too. I think on hive stream there, I've had people talk about emily and i just i kick them and like, oh, yeah, no, yeah and then hive is like oh my engagement and i'm like well you can add them back later then because they're gone <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's yeah there's <laughs> lines like, you don't probably not how hive reacts at all but uh hive's really no <laughs> no 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 but hive is respectful if, if it's something yeah. like demeaning yeah. especially to someone his friends like he doesn't care yeah. them. go ahead pick it too yeah yeah, yeah so yeah. but it's it's funny because then for a while people were like damn dude ross is just like <laughs> Just hard, like gone, 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 and like pretty much like whack a mole, like gone, gone, gone. <laughs> but then, no like, I'll see some of the other mods Emily has, they're a lot nicer than me. And so they're like, okay, we'll time you out or we'll send you a message reminding you, hey, maybe don't do this. But if I'm on there, gone, gone. gone. I remember, I like, one of my mods, it was so <laughs> funny. Like, oh, I ban them. I also, I'm like you. I'm like, bye. Oh, nice. Gone. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. gone. <laughs> Cause it's like, if you're saying something like that inappropriate, it's like, okay, no, get out. Like, yeah, you don't know how to get on the internet. Nice. Yeah, right. <laughs> I feel you know, like, like privileges were closed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is weird because I guess you're technically not banned. You're just hidden, so you can t- keep sending messages, but it, they just don't see it. Hidden. They don't pop up. Yeah. That's just they the funniest part. Yeah. Because yeah. you're just wasting your time. I think you're so <laughs> like I love thinking like. about how much they're probably like commenting <laughs> yeah. and no one sees it. They're gonna love this one. No one laughs. But Claire does bring up a point like where there are some times where I, I usually lurk on everybody's stuff, especially when they're streaming, and I won't say anything. I don't say anything. <laughs> like, Claire didn't even notice I was watching her whole uh, members only thing this entire time. I didn't say anything the whole time. <laughs> I was there. She's like, what? <laughs> Today? <laughs> she, yeah, she's like, oh, I didn't, I didn't even know I was a member. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, just <laughs> right now, shared. I was just, I was going to see how why long I can say, go. <laughs> why don't you say hi? I don't know. I was working. Hey, lurking is a, it's a skill. Right? No, you just yeah, say I just want to listen. Like, like this. It's like annoying <laughs> sometimes if you do say hi, because then there's like you know ten people be like, oh hey, hey, yeah, hey. Start. It was, it was uh, who was Dan, Rich, so, um, yeah, so I'm like, Mark. Uh, uh, yeah, Mark. Yeah, so I'm like, people are talking. I don't need to say anything. So I'm just gonna. Be <laughs> it. It's a I mean? skill. But but like when I 
when I get into mod mode, especially when something's like getting like out of nowhere, I'm like, oh, that should be gone. Boop, gone. Like, I feel like now I have to stay because these guys going to come back. It's like, oh, now my job yeah, is I'm always on edge a stream. little bit a few minutes afterwards. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I'm gone, gone, gone. And then Sometimes wait. I yeah, feel like so you like... just have so many backup YouTube accounts. Yeah. Like you ban them and then they'll come back a minute later and you're oh, like, yeah. how did you They're do that? They like change like one letter. They like make new ones on the spot. It's crazy. Oh yeah, they definitely have like twenty two Gmails, which is a complete waste of. Or this is very telling with the time they don't. Have <laughs> like when you but, see like, trolls pop up, <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Is, pop up. I thought like, I thought they were. I felt like Google. Would, I thought they'd like track that there's like oh, no. eighteen email addresses at one IP. You know, I, I will say I think YouTube is overall still better for getting trolls before um, most platforms are. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of times you'll see comments on this YouTube studios app mm-hmm. and you're like, Oh, what'd they say? And you go click the comment and you can see like the first half of it, but then it's all blacked out and it's like, Oh, comment will never made it. And to- those are sometimes kind of yeah. sad because yeah. you kind of want to see what it yeah, was. I'm like, Wait, what did it say? What did you're, it like, say? <laughs> you're like, what is that psychopath that they were today? Yeah. Mine are always like timestamps. Oh yeah, oh, you get the, the spam. That's uh, the, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the that's, yeah, is? that's something totally different. Just delete With those immediately. When it's like a way that they're able to figure out how to like get a link in, so it looks like a timestamp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you need to delete those immediately. Don't keep them yeah. on your um, comments yeah. at yeah, all. Do, they're, they're, yeah. Also, did you know you can like, like if I was a mod for Claire, I can actually delete comments on her videos too. I didn't know that to like oh, really. Yeah. Oh, really? I did yeah. not know that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah. yeah. Like someone messaged me. They were like, "Hey, just so you know, I just like removed a gross comment." Yeah, it's not on video. Yeah, like, it's not just on live streams. That's what it, moderators. Oh, it's in live. Yeah. We can now mod each other's lives. What? On YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to the no, matrix. But it's like, it's, it was always like that with YouTube. Like live streams came I didn't later. Know that. I did not know that. Let me start going you guys' video. <laughs> delete everything. You want an engagement, Ross? <laughs> Engage with this. That's why yeah. that's why Twitch is like a lot more powerful. Like it will show you everything that your mods did. Oh, gotcha. Mm, that is nice. Yeah. And like you can like revoke it or not, you know. Mm. I think same oh, okay. with like you know, like Discord can kind of do something like that too, you know? What's Discord? <laughs> Uh, Actually, no. I want to hear that. What is Discord? How do you? Ex- I, I don't know how to explain Discord to people. Uh, it's just a, it's just like a. I think it's like yeah. I would just say it's like a text and voice. It's like Slack, but non-professional, maybe. Yeah. It's a private community because you need to know exactly what you're getting into before you. Get there into are a public community. ones. I mean, like you can get. Um, no, but it's yeah. like it's like they're individual rooms. It's not like just massive platform where everybody goes it's everywhere, like, like YouTube, Instagram. Yeah, I mean it's like AIM, but a little bit more organized. Mm. Yeah, 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 I guess that's, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. So the the classic, okay. it's like this, but <laughs> with this kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they have their own like brand and tagline. It's they're also growing like crazy. Um, and doing really well as a company. They, what was mm-hmm. you told me something they said recently? Like, uh, turns out nobody knows what our icon is. In fact, we kind of forgot what it was. Discord <laughs> said that. Uh, Discord did. That's really funny. You're like, what is this yeah, supposed to be? It? I thought it was like an alien or something. I think it's a controller. Pew pew. <laughs> oh, oh, is it what it is? <laughs> I think so. It's like a little. I thought it was like, an, thought it was like a grammatical symbol. I oh, see. I thought Am I missing out on something? Oh, the uh, Discord symbol. Yeah, like I thought it was there. like the aliens from like Space Invaders, the one where you're shooting up and the, hey, the, the, the UFO. That's what I always thought it was. Oh, I thought it was just a really awkward smiley face. See, so so I guess yeah. That's what, what they said. It? Like they <laughs> they asked a bunch of people and they all came up with different answers, like just like we are. So I think they're gonna rebrand it soon. <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, yeah, we need to rebrand this. <laughs> Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. See, it looks I'm, like a controller. Yeah, it does. I see the controller. It's Mickey like Mouse's pants. That's a sweater. Oh, it does look like a sweater. Oh, it does look like a sweater. No, With two buttons. <laughs> <laughs> For the viewers out there, <laughs> you have to you have to come watch it on YouTube if you missed it, mm-hmm. or Spotify video. 
So, oh, by the way, I forgot to plug. You can find this podcast on all podcasts. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Definitely the best intro so far. <laughs> all right. Now <laughs> let's, 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 let's get into the <laughs> meat and potatoes. Right. Let's start the show. <laughs> so, we, we, we kind of touched on this a little bit, but, like, do you do you see yourself, like, growing, trying to grow in other platforms to bring it back to YouTube, or are you just trying to grow in other platforms? Um, well, I guess, like... Really, I'm only on YouTube and Instagram. I've like kind of tried TikTok, but I was like, I don't really get it. And as before, I really wanted to make that kind of content anyways. But really, like what made me start posting more on Instagram was like, I was at probably like 1700 followers, just people floated over from YouTube, you know, like I wasn't trying, I didn't really post, I really just talked to friends on there. It's more like a way for to message. Yeah, that was like my communication with you guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um. I noticed like I was just spending so much time on reels, just like literally wasting my time. And I was like, you know what? These are really fun. I like watching them. Like, why don't I try making some? Mm -hmm. If they tank, then, you know, whatever, like maybe it'll be cringy. None of them have tanked think it's so stupid. far. <laughs> <laughs> They've done really well. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's because it, it, it's kind of hard to just put yourself out there like that because it's a totally different kind of thing. Like, I don't, I didn't know if it would be cringy or, or what people would think, but it was still small. So it's like, whatever. Um, if it's weird, then maybe people will forget in a month, you know, um, but like it took off and it was doing really well. And like for, I think the first, I don't know, month or so I was growing at like 400 to 700 followers a day. Like it was a lot. And it's just like overwhelming to just growing essentially overnight with it. Cause I was like, okay, you know, like let's make more. These are doing well. Um, and I started researching, like, how do you make these like what's trending audio like how do you grow on here versus like tiktok or youtube you know mm -hmm. like what's the difference and part of like the motivation after it started doing well i was like oh maybe this is a good idea like i'll keep doing it was like you know hitting 10k so you could link to your video so it's like okay well once i hit 10k then i can at least like bring people over even better to youtube i can link and say hey look i don't just make these reels you can also watch my videos um and then like what everybody got it <laughs> yeah now everyone has it so that was a waste <laughs> yeah. within like a month after you got the 10k i'm like a little annoyed because it's like darn it you know <laughs> i finally got there i tried and now everyone can do it um i mean it's a good thing you know like i was annoyed when i was at you know a thousand it's like oh, i wish i, I could link my it. video <laughs> um but yeah and then like I, I really did notice people coming over from instagram so like i think it was august when i really started and i had a few good videos going on youtube at that at that point um it was around the gunship yeah like the gunship was out i think like the fender guitar came out around then too um but we were growing like a lot bigger subscribers per day than normal mm -hmm. and it was just like continuous like every day it was just a good so you were seeing growth. growth like when there were minimal videos of you out well that one is hard because again like the the fender and the question mark block were around that time and, yeah. and you know we had those a little bit early so it's kind of hard to it, it, it's so convoluted but i will say we definitely got a lot of comments from people saying hey i saw your reels on instagram yeah. i had no idea yeah. and for like every yeah. comment there's probably like 100 people yeah you know so like, not yeah yeah, yeah. It, it's so you got some traction over which is good to hear that there are people that are cross like they're crossing platforms because it is a given to know that like if you're on youtube most likely you'll have an instagram most likely right. But it's, yeah. it's not the other way around where you would go onto Instagram expecting someone to have a YouTube channel. Um, and if you, which if I find you notice, we, like, yeah. we get really smart with it. And some of the reels, you know, will be like, the reel will be about her making content on YouTube. Yeah. So like, yeah. I, I try to market it like that. So it's like a double whammy. It's like, okay, I can grow on Insta, but also like, if they do oh like God. it, hopefully they'll like click the link in the bio and like come find me. <laughs> um, and usually that works. I, I did notice like I think one of the first ones I did was about like me working all day on the Lego City and like being you know a Lego content creator. Like that was kind of like the gist of the reel um, with like the Jeff Bezos song from Bo Burnham or something. Oh, yeah. um, but like that was like, hey, look, I do this thing like on YouTube. Come find me. Like that's pretty much what the reel was saying. Um, indirectly while entertaining people it's like <laughs> hey come come watch my videos um but like i really have seen it work you know and like when i did start on youtube like what a year and a half ago or whatever like i i remember thinking like oh if i grow on instagram like you know maybe they'll come over to youtube and that like wasn't the case but also 
like what was I at like 400 followers maybe <laughs> like what what's that gonna do um but more recently especially just like with the visibility from reels it's just been wild like you can reach millions of people so easily and you know of those millions like maybe a hundred might come actually like watch all your videos you know so it's it's like worth that and also like I guess just branching more into like why it's almost worth it is you know like through Instagram you don't really make any money like there's no like so financial <laughs> yeah financial yeah. like gain from it but like brands will notice you and you're like oh you're like that lego reels girl you know and it's like okay cool and so like they'll reach out and like i've gotten like i don't know sponsorships kind of things like from other brands Ambassador. and so that's been really nice and it's like almost another income stream just from that mm -hmm. and that wasn't really like expected but it's like okay so you know you kind of get a taste for like what is this like like is it worth continuing with it? And it's like, so far it is, you know. Your, your um, discoverability definitely increases when you do, when you use another platform, especially something that's mainstream like Instagram. So it's, mm -hmm. it's kind of like shooting yourself in the foot if you want to grow on any other platform and don't do anything to try to pull people over. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. and, and Reels right now is the trending thing, just like coming from TikTok. Like it's, it's, it's reaching as many people as quickly as possible and the best way to gain traction to the things that you're most passionate about in youtube is to market yourself that way so like you're you know going back going back to the original conversation in the beginning is like marketing is extremely important and going to a different platform is just that you know yeah. right advertising yeah. and, and actually uh ninja that brings me to the another thing i wanted to talk about is you know i've been hearing not hearing but like if you if you've been noticing the the way advertising has changed like in the last even just year and a half or two it's just totally been changing mm -hmm. to where it is starting to become about brands talking to these micro we'll call them micro internet celebrities I like that um you know as ambassadors and then ambassadors talking to their communities and not, not just like lego or lan or anyone in particular but just in general like makeup is a good one <laughs> did you watch I, the same video that i did because maybe <laughs> I, I literally i literally just watched a video i don't know why i'm really into like just i don't know that's, that's not really that's not really good to talk about but like <laughs> tell you guys later but like the videos that it's on my feed it's um one of them had to do with that where you're where these companies are no longer like they ask there's like a poll or whatever and then like people are more influenced and trust people like influencers to buy product mm -hmm. than celebrities right um, and it's yeah. nuts and and i've seen so it I, I work next door to a trader or down the road from a trader joe's and so i you know i've gone there and i cannot tell you how many times i've heard people ask the employees hey do you have this no we're out Oh, it's probably because it's trending all over TikTok right now. And I'm yeah. like, oh, mashed potatoes? What are you talking about, man? Yeah. And I, like, I, there's so many times, and, and, and like, you can talk to someone from retail, or at least Trader Joe's and Target are the two I always hear the retail workers saying, like, oh, yeah, it's all over TikTok. So that means it's not in stock anymore. And I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. Or like, that like a was mentioning about the roses. Like, oh. it's nuts. Sorry, what was that, Ninja? I was just thinking, because like, there's like a trend like oh tiktok maybe buy it or some something like yeah that. yeah and, and 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 then which feeds into what i was saying about like you know people trust more somebody they can actually talk to or or at least know of you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the smaller influencer rather than from these big celebrities now there are a lot of big celebrities that also do that too right they found the way yeah. but you know there's like a lot of you know thoughts that this is gonna like old style commercialism is almost yeah. outdated and i don't yeah. think they know yeah. yet i don't like well, some brands are figuring it out and some i think a lot of them know i mean like you're you have to be pretty backwards to like not realize it i mean like cosmetics industry started oh, yeah. from like 2012 or maybe like 11 even like mm -hmm. they like really got on board like really 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 quickly mm -hmm. um the toy industry is a weird space because it is targeted towards kids. So if you see kids channels and stuff like that, those, you know, get inundated with like brand um, support or what, whatever, you know, brand ambassadors and stuff like that. The adult collectors industry is like weird as well. Like, you know, we kind of like fall into 
into like a weird kind of category where it's like still kind of like niche, Mm -hmm. but like, um, like Harry Potter influencers, like adult collectors of that stuff. They, there's so many different brands that like make, you know, figurines, collectibles, Funkos, books, new book covers, all that stuff that gets like, you know, pitched over to them really, really quickly. And that gets, you know, they sell tons and tons of product from it. It's, it's been going on for a while. I think any relevant marketing department is completely aware of it. Um, Big marketing firms have already transitioned their entire like strategies for that. Obviously there's like still like other industries like you know, finance and banking and where, and medicine where expectations are different than right. what they are from, you know, retail products. So they can't be treated the same way. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's, this is, it's real. I think that's why I think a lot of people will have commentary on Lego because they aren't doing the same thing that other relevant retail brands are doing. And so they don't need to They're like doing really well. You know what I mean? Like it's very, it's very different. Like what their strategy mm-hmm. is, you know, you'll see like I just seen, she received, you know, the, the Mario starter course and like everything that went along with it and did this like whole thing. But like, how many times do you see that? Not, not as many, like there's, there's so many different channels that they can be inundating with this product and they don't do that because right now they can't keep up with the demand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, right. Yeah, it's just really interesting. So yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. And I and then and maybe and this is kind of another topic we thought mm-hmm. about um, bringing up to you know how how things have changed being ambassadors for I guess it's been six months or so. Six or seven months. Yeah. Um, you know, from the inside looking out, I I feel and you know this is just me guessing. I feel like mm-hmm. Lego is starting to move a little bit more. I think so. I mean, it makes sense. You know, like it makes sense for, you know, emerging markets for them to be prioritized to, you know, be supported by the company. I think that would make sense. Like if I were them, that's right. what I would keep doing. And, and especially since like those last two years really showed this the adult fandom. Yeah. I mean, like we, we have like this joke about going to a Lego store and just seeing how all the, uh, the Ninjago air aisle gets shrunk. The Star Wars area is getting shrunk. Uh, Monkey Kid got kicked out. And then everything's just these one-off uh, just 18 plus classes. themes, 18 <laughs> yeah, yeah. plus cars or whatever, Adidas random stuff. Shoes. And it's, that's, it's like half of the Lego store now is almost 18 plus, um, yes. and, and which makes sense because when you, well, it could be because we usually go to a Lego store in the middle of the day. Um, um, I think there's like a couple of different reasons. I think they move most. So th- I think they would, I, if I were to guess, they would move the majority of their product for small, for like children and stuff in targets and Walmarts and things right. like that. Yeah. Like Lego stores are not probably where they sell the most product. Those are just like representations of the brand. It's, it's an international brand, right? So the, it's their, it's their American or like wherever they are globally, that's like, you know, that's their representation. That's like how they become more of a household name as well. Like, you know, you're at the mall. It's like, mommy, let's go to the, you know, the Lego store, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a bit different. You know what I mean? It's, I think they're, I would guess that they're pushing more product to Target and Walmart is my point. I I would say so. I'm actually pretty surprised at how stacked some of the shelves have been lately around here compared to last year. Well, last week, I think it was a fluke, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, and that's a good yeah. point. Um, yeah, I'm still like a little shell shock from last year, just empty shells for two months. Oh, that months. was wild. Like, like around the straight. holidays, it was just empty. Just Harry like, Potter Alvin months. calendars, all you can get. That's it. It's super <laughs> yeah, cool. right. I think, like, uh, yeah, you're right. It was like November, December. It was like really weird. Beginning of November, I was able, that's like when I went and price matched a bunch of stuff from GameStop and got like mm. all this like half price Harry Potter stuff. That was beginning oh, of December or gosh. November, and then and then it was like dead. <laughs> dead. And I remember like when I was like so stupid. I remember January first. I was like the Hogwarts castle. Someone I just like listened to someone. They're like it's gonna retire, and I was like, oh. and so like I bought. It's like sitting in a box here still, like the castle. It's like <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, us and our consumerism. <laughs> <laughs> that FOMO, FOMO is real. It's so real. It's so real. It's so oh, I mean, I'm doing well, Ninja. Yes, nice. I haven't bought a thing. Right. Nothing on Black Friday. Oh, I literally so, so that was one of the reasons why I stayed not home. 
this whole weekend was <laughs> like, so watch. I wouldn't be watching people's Not YouTube that. channels, their Instagrams, like literally staying away <laughs> from anyone Locking saying down. that there's a deal on something. Literally. <laughs> Oh, there's so, some crazy and, deals, man. No, there wasn't. <laughs> there was nothing. I, I, I was, I was, I was kind of pissed at like, I was like, oh man. No, I wasn't kind of pissed. I was actually kind of happy that Lego didn't really do much for their uh, Black Friday. So I was like, oh, yeah, cool. it wasn't, makes it easier for yeah. me. They didn't do that. So, they didn't do the same, same thing last year. It's just like the, what, the exciting thing about Black Friday is that there's a set being released. That's it. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, yeah. there, was, there was no, but the last I'm well, I don't know about last year, but the year before and years before that, they've always had like five sets available like for 20 percent off that would change not like stay the mm. whole time like it's been this time it's like oh, literally yeah. you can only come this day to buy the ninjago ducks for 30 40 percent off or 30 percent uh, off. Right, 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 yeah. like you know like they did that with one of the months like every day there were like two sets that are like oh that's gonna disappear these days oh i wish yeah these sets are on yeah. sale so you go for like four or five days in a row or something like that yeah exactly yeah. that that was like genius marketing i was like holy oh that's kind of shysty but hey good for you handle <laughs> yeah. people are doing it so like uh, but they're also trying to product they they wanted product off the shelves at that point that's what a lot of black friday is black that's, friday what's, is what's like what's the point it's a turnover people don't realize that that it's right. like like yeah. they need to get rid of this product right mm-hmm. That's before, why, like, before the new year, they get yeah. <laughs> That's why sometimes, like, even after Black Friday, things get even cheaper. Like, yeah. you just run a risk sure. of it not being there. Yeah. But um, anyway, Take yeah, I didn't. I didn't buy a single thing on Black Friday. Proud of you. Yeah. Really? High five. We just got no, some data break. High five. That's <laughs> it. I was gonna get like uh, like other things. Like I need like ceiling lamps and stuff like that, but I didn't even do it. I was just like nothing. Like, oh, Nice. I bought food. <laughs> nice. Hey. Yeah. In fact, in fact, like we kept getting free food. Like hey, my favorite wow. kind of food. That's so good. No, we got we got kabuki for free. Our bill was one fifty, and like I literally I went in right, <laughs> and I'm like hey, the order for this. It's like oh, okay, here you go. I'm like okay, and I need to pay, and they're like it's already been paid, and I'm like grab my order and just walked out, and say peace. <laughs> So then I thought, I honestly just thought my wife paid for it over the phone or something. So then I went, I'm like, hey, did you pay for this? She's like, no. Oh, well. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but not only that, we got like free coffee, we got free donuts, we got free, like just everything. Nice. I was like, everything was for free. I was like, what the hell? What's going on here? So like we got, it was by far maybe one of my s- most memorable Thanksgivings ever. Oh, so, so, Maybe super someone happy. paid it Didn't for it. Didn't buy anything, family, free food. <laughs> I was totally happy. <laughs> you don't need to buy anything, guys. <laughs> Nice. That's right. <laughs> you know, and I guess a lot of that too. We've been pretty good actually about spending and, until what gets us is bricks and minifigs. Oh, um, and it's because visitors of bricks and minifigs. Yeah, like, and it's just. I mean, we go twice a week. Like, probably more. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's and, like, and you know, and a lot of it we like to really just go because we like the employees a lot and the manager and we just like to hang out with them and yeah. we know on weekdays for instance it's a little less busy so we can just go mm-hmm. talk pretty much do the same thing we do here just irl <laughs> um but then at the same time they're like oh hey man we just got this really crazy ninjago set. <laughs> I, I, I can tell and we're like oh, yeah we want that and <laughs> they're like oh look oh look emily and ross are coming yeah, uh, or they know, you know, you know it's the stuff, the stuff. they watch the channel and they're like, oh, I know what they're looking for. I hope they uh, come in. They're <laughs> stashing stuff in the back for you. Just like they, oh, they sure. don't do that. Um, we've asked, but yeah, they definitely don't do that. But <laughs> um, you, I can't. Are you their biggest client? I, I would imagine not. I feel like the second biggest we, Star Wars. Apparently, I, yeah, I'm the second biggest Star Wars, but I bought almost every Star Wars I need now. So. Um, until, He's probably not hmm. number two anymore. Yeah, until that phase two Cody comes out, I think we're done. <laughs> but um, they're pushing the movement. That's right. Had to get it in there. Nice, um, nice, nice. But yeah, I think for a while I was the second biggest consumer of Lego Star Wars. But not only that, though, you promote that specific store a lot. Uh, yeah. So that's also we do. <laughs> it was kind of cool. The other day we were there, and we get recognized there pretty often. Or Emily does. I'm just kind of. Out. He gets recognized sometimes. Um, but yeah, the nicest thing was uh, last time we were there last week, somebody recognized her and wanted a selfie. And the manager happened to be there and took the, well, it ended up being a Yui 
and he took a picture <laughs> of him w- with her and then him with us too. So, but, you know, the, hey. the manager gets it. He tells us all the time, like, you know, thanks so much. Like we're really seeing, there's a lot of people that have come on our behalf. <laughs> nice. See, and I was like, cool. So back do we do like a coupon code? Or, <laughs> So Sorry. Exactly what this is exactly what it's 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 advertisement to a brick and mortar store like. Oh yeah, you're an influencer. Yeah, it's 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 good. I don't know. I feel like it, it's container telling. Store is sponsoring me. That's like yeah, <laughs> containers. You, you posted recently on your, somebody was watching your video to try to figure out what to buy, and I've done the exact same thing. I was watching Plastic Architect container store video. Like, what is it she's getting? <laughs> <laughs> In the store watching your YouTube video, trying to figure out what I need. I linked everything. Yeah, it, it helped. I was glad you did. I was about to, I was about to message you until I found the links. No one checks the descriptions, man. No one checks the descriptions. Everything. Yeah. I don't know why. I know. I check descriptions of other people. Like when I'm going to buy something, I go straight to the description. Oh, oh yeah. Too. I'm going to buy something. So it, be up, it is so upsetting when it's like not there. Right? <laughs> piss you off. <laughs> I love when I read the description and then they, they put something in there like, and no one ever reads this far. So, like, <laughs> Are you still reading <laughs> well, I made it. <laughs> I've done that once in the description. I was like, by the way, if you've made it this far, like, how are you doing? Like, let right? me know. Some, some, yeah. People were like, thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm doing great. And like, people actually responded to it. I was like, wow. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Sometimes we'll do that too. Is if we, if we have a video that we think is too clickbait, maybe or might just be too clicky, we'll put in the description how it's not. But nobody right, tends okay. to, to read. No, that. that's like your, like <laughs> CYA. Just like, like, nobody. Let me explain. <laughs> Before you come at me, let me explain. That only yeah. I mean, think about like Sans put the like, hey, like he put that disclaimer on his um what the gunship video and like, oh, the most popular like a star wars video of the year yeah exactly like, people people put or like they forget that he well he seems to forget also that he could change the name he still hasn't bought any star wars yeah well i do wow. remember the disclaimer scene there because i i, I mean, remember that's good. yeah that it was like oh, by the way i can change him. my opinion anytime i want to bye <laughs> oh yeah Nice. Uh, I was like, well, you just negated your whole video, but cool. <laughs> yeah, he's got to cover his bases. It makes sense. <laughs> Smart. Look at his channel description. <laughs> I need to. I haven't seen it because I didn't even. Is, is channel descriptions a thing? It's very, yeah, it is. very simple. Oh, very simple. So yeah, never. I guess that that's proof of that. <laughs> what, what is it? He's never not joking. I'm never not joking. Yeah. Oh, he's never not joking. <laughs> Boom. It's well, like, then, yeah, I guess then everything he says is could be whatever. He's just a liar, prolific liar. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I've interpreted it. No, cold um, bloody. Still no, no, um, no Star Wars in this house. I want what? the ATT though. You want the dog Me too. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cute. I've like emptied a ton of shelves. It doesn't look like it, but because it's not in this room, but. So- Getting ready for Monkey Kid and ATAT. Oh, that's right, Monkey Kid. So, speaking of this big, great dog, is your guys is the only one that's custom so far? <laughs> the dog? I don't want to claim that, but yeah, I guess so. I haven't seen any others yet. That's fair. That counts. I think I haven't just, either. So I think people just got theirs. To be fair, like yeah, yeah order it still counts. Just got it, and it's like a whole hog to build. And I think you know they're just getting through it. <laughs> it's yeah. A lot. yeah, I will say it's very misleading because the first two boxes are really fun and fly by. I was like, wow, this is great. Yeah, I was like, wow, this is the best UCS set ever. I really like this. And then the last two boxes, I'm I was like, like, where does this go? None of this works. Great plate. What's happening? Great plate. <laughs> great plate <laughs> okay. it was very tedious yeah. it took forever well i mean it, it, you see why when you know when it all comes it's, it's always the i think a lot of us have that like a favorite when you get to the end of the bag and you're like okay now we bring this whole set with what you built before we throw a pin in bring it all and together like, perfectly and you're like, it's very satisfying uh you yeah. know the last the last steps there's there's about three or four of those really satisfying moments in this one okay Wow, I, like looking at that right next to the Falcon, it, it's definitely put into perspective on how big that actually is. Yeah, I think because so. I still haven't seen that live, and like, why? Well, how could I? Because I didn't go to the Lego store this weekend. But I mean, like, that's, that's right. That's, that's pretty that's big. Right, it's big. It's yeah. I mean, it's right about the same height as yeah. the width of the Falcon. Oh my so, god! I will say that 
I I do because I built both of them, and I guess I didn't build all the ATAT, but um, I built like the first half. I, you built most. <laughs> I built of the it. easy part. Yeah, but I I think I I hated building the Falcon. I despise. Really, it. I enjoyed. I it. love it as a model, and I love having it and looking at it. But the build was terrible, and because huh. um, it was all those technic perpendicular technic pieces everywhere. Just um, Kids are weak. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then the with the ATAT, I was like worried I would hate building the legs because I hate yeah, we, most of us don't like to do multiple things, multiple yeah, steps, yeah. or at the same time or whatever. No, totally fun. And then once you get the gears working and you can make it wave and stuff, it's super cool, fun. Okay. And there's there's a cool part when you're building it before you build the the back that it's upside down and you can give it a little belly rub. You know, <laughs> so we did that. So cute. <laughs> so that I really like Twitch. that. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we can put it on its back anymore. So that's, oh. that's all. <laughs> no. you gotta enjoy it while it lasts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when are you getting the storm destroyer? You know, I had heard that on either it was Cyber Monday or on Black Friday. It would like. Um, somewhere it might it came down to like 550 bucks oh my god and i was like i want it i really do but i just don't have space for it like emily keeps saying like we should sell this gunship and i was like you bought that for me for our wedding anniversary yeah like oh yeah (laughs) (laughs) because the gunship is just unbearably hard to place anywhere it's just a big you know like the Falcon, at least, you can like prop it up so it's like a mm-hmm. you know yeah. perpendicular pancake. The ATAT is pretty thin, but like pancake. The gunship, where do you put that? Yeah. You know, it's it's just so big. But I don't want to complain about it because I want them to make more. So, <laughs> <laughs> Emily, where? you just answered a question I had without even asking it. What was that? Because I was going to say, so the the ATAT is the big gray dog. Star Destroyer is the big gray pointer or the cursor. cursor. I was going to ask about the Falcon, but I guess it's the big gray pancake. <laughs> it is a pancake. Yeah. And <laughs> even that one, unless you go out and buy this third party display kit or build one or something, it, it's almost non displayable. Yeah. Um, like it's because of the, the width, but at least you can do something with that. I still haven't seen a good gunship display yet, but I'm sure it's coming. Uh, yeah. Well, no. like, like you were saying, that one's so different. It's like wide. Yeah. Just well, you like put it like flat against the wall, like a fly. Yeah. yeah. I, I have you know, seen that, but I'm like afraid that the pieces would start getting like the where where the I, I, doesn't I display it have it kind of at an angle the the wall portion of that I think so hmm. I think an angle would be fine but like Wicked just putting it. it straight on the wall I'd be a little yeah nervous, so. well Wicked has options to be able to put all their stuff against the wall but like I wonder if they're if they're the ones that did it where they can they mount it from the wall so that mm-hmm. way it's actually not resting on the wall it's resting on a plate on an angle I need to check so that this out again. Wall. I think I've seen, I don't know what company did it, but I've seen someone do it. And uh, I wonder if they're going to make any for the ATAT. Um, oh, well. To mount on the wall? <laughs> well, no. Not well, would that be cool? Like, as I was like walking up or something? Like, that's awesome. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, might be the same thing with the, you know, like walking on the I don't think the legs could handle that. <laughs> Spidey um. pig. Yeah. That would be funny. I think, too, what's cool is on the, on the bottom of the box, it shows the feet. Mm-hmm. And it like looks, really cool. looks cute. cute. That was Forbes. And Thanks so we were thinking that. about trying to take a like if we got like a glass table or something and underneath it and took pictures of it walking, like you see like people do oh, with cats on Instagram. Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, that can totally be done. That's cute. But, yeah, I see it. Yeah, I dig it. It's, it's a great set. I need to when Emily's Emily's always in this room, but when she's not, I'm gonna come by with that brick separator and get it <laughs> imperial glory. Clean it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> at least yeah. cover the whole thing up <laughs> at least right. co- yeah we ran out surprisingly for all the dots she has she ran out we just wasn't <laughs> out yeah it's only on the one side we didn't even get it on the other side she yeah, i was about to say just 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 complete one side of it so if like you feel festive you could just leave it on the uh colorful side and then every other day you could just flip it on the other way and it's all great no 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 it's all coming off <laughs> <laughs> at make at face which is the the community voted? That's the name of it. They're not allowed to vote anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, good way to bring us back down. Um, so, are you happy with where you're at today with your channel? Oh yeah. Um, I mean, of course, like you always just 
want to be, you know, bigger or doing better, you know, but like, I am really happy with it. Like I'm proud of where we're at and we've put in a ton of work with it. Like it's, you know, it's, it's like daily videos, like eight to 15 minute videos every day. And it's, it's exhausting, but it's so much fun. Yeah. And like, I don't know, like, like it's nice knowing that the hard work paid off, you know, like we're, we're to a point where we're comfortable and now it's just continuing and doing the same thing and like trying to be innovative still. Um, but we kind of have our, you know, our groove with like live streams, vlogs and city updates. And that's mm-hmm. kind of our little Can't do thing. reviews. So. <laughs> I don't, I don't really enjoy reviews. <laughs> it's not, like that from SpongeBob Joker. It's like uh, vlogs kills them. Live streams knocks them dead. Reviews. No, <laughs> um, it, we always joke. It's like I think people like us interacting with Lego more than us talking about or commentating on Lego. So yeah. we kind of stay away from the commentary. Is stuff. it is it that, or is it a challenge to improve upon? I think it, it's definitely something to improve upon yeah. too. Because I mean, especially with Lan, you know, like I I like doing live like live streams of sets like that's what we do when we buy sets you know we'll build it and then maybe add it to the city if it's a city set otherwise it'll just go on the shelf and we're not going to review it but with land like i almost feel like there's that extra thing where it's like especially with like the atat like you know we're we're really thankful they sent this i don't want them to think like oh they didn't even make videos about it they just <laughs> built it you know and so we reviewed it we did like the dots thing and just like trying to be creative with it um but like long term you know, I, I do want reviews to be like some part of the channel, but I don't think it'll ever be like a main thing we do. Mm-hmm. It's it's something where like only kind of like when necessary or like when it's called for. You know, like with the ATAP, yeah. like I, I feel like that deserves a review. Um, and we did it different it. too, like because I I know like that whole world of YouTube is kind of full. You know, like the Lego reviewers, and especially yeah. Lego Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, like th- right. those are out there. And so, like with my ATAT review, it was like five minutes. I was like, hey, here's the set information. Here's how long it took to build. Here's how it kind of functions. It's sturdy. Like I was just shaking it. Like, see, it won't fall. Thank you for watching. Like, there's other people that will tell you how accurate it is. Like, that's just, it's not really what I'll do. Like, I don't. Mm-hmm have that knowledge to start and also just reviews in general just aren't really they're not as easy for me to do as like other types of content mm-hmm. yeah. so i mean it makes like, sense okay, if you want if you want a star wars review like you know where to go <laughs> otherwise it, it's it's 30 check it out it's a cool set <laughs> yeah i, feel, I, I mean just i feel that mean. i think it's me <laughs> And then that kind of brings me on to the last topic um, we had is, uh, you know, being in, being in land, you know, we're very appreciative, obviously. Um, like, I mean, it means a lot. And, you know, the, the way land treats it is it, it, it's support, right? Support for adult communities. Yeah. And so oftentimes, you know, we're, we'll get sent like the ATAT, which is, a, a big deal, you know, that's yeah. like, wow, that's like $800 and you guys send it to us, like, really, thank you. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, there's always that, like, yeah, we're going to make content on it, but there's always going to be the people that are like, man, it must be nice to get this for free. Duh, yeah. duh, duh. And what they don't see is that Emily puts in 15 hours of work a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I do channel. get, <laughs> that is like a big thing i see a lot especially since like land started it's like oh wow like i wish lego would just send me stuff how do i apply for land and i'm like you, you have know 10 followers <laughs> yeah like i'll get messages from people on instagram with like 50 followers and i'm like i mean you need a community um yeah. but like it's it, it's just hard because no matter what you do you're gonna lose you know like you're reviewing the set and people will either be upset that it's like oh well you got it for free of course you like it you know of course you're gonna love it it was free but then if you don't like it then you know wow, how dare you on a set you got for free it was free like you should be <laughs> appreciative of whatever you get and so no matter what you can't really win like you're never gonna appease everybody um right. and especially like you know with the ATAT too like those videos have probably more dislikes than normal and it is a different type of content so maybe people just hate reviews like <laughs> that might be it you know it's not normally what we do but like you know just dealing with I guess people not really understanding what it is you know um 
for how much work you I guess I get a little upset about those because I like I see her working. I'm always like, hey, do you want to hang out? She's like, no. And she's working like, till like 11 the, at night every night and yeah. getting up at seven and doing it again. And then you get these people being like, wow, you know, life's yeah. a lot harder when you have to pay for it. And I'm like, That's, she literally is paying for it. What are you doing? <laughs> it's because all they see is the video. They're like, all she had to do was record it. That's it. And yeah, it's done. exactly. Like, nah. That's... So that can be kind of frustrating. But also it's like, they just don't get it. You know, <laughs> they don't know. Yeah. Um, Benefit of the doubt. They, they just don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but. Cool. Well, I think we touched on all of our topics. Thanks for being our therapist today, guys. Really appreciate it. Okay. Oh, thanks for being the host. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're back into the host spot. Good. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for having <laughs> us on Thank this you for being episode. Here. You know, we appreciate being here. It was fun, and yeah, yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Yeah, the email. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on Apple Podcast, Spotify Podcast, YouTube Podcast, Podcast Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you made it to the end, uh, bark bark. Oh dang! <laughs> that's it. Roll the music. <laughs> I was hoping they would say it, but they did it. <laughs> oh, that's oops. I was waiting for him. Come on, say it. Roll the music. Right, no, um, music roll. I mean. Play it. It's, already, it's already been going. <laughs> Never before. <laughs> that episode's over. <laughs>